Hi guys, this is Naeem. Today I'm going to be starting my new series on Python for beginners. In this series, we are going to be going through basic topics for Python. We're going to be going through the fundamental topics which will allow us to progress and handle the more complex tasks with further learning. But first, we must understand these topics. The first topic we're going to learn today is numbers. Numbers is a very simple topic. The first thing you need to know is that there are three types of numbers. There are three types of numbers. The first number is integer, or we call int. An integer is a whole number. For example, x equals three. The second number, the second type of number is a floating point, or we call float. Float is basically a number that has a decimal in it. So for example, y equals, y equals 7.4. The third type of number is a complex number which has a letter J added to it. We don't need to think too much about complex numbers for now, but just know they are the third type of number. So for example, two J. Okay, so that's our complex number. We can use the type function in Python to see what type of number our um, object is. Okay, so for example, if I write down now, I'm creating the func. Now I'm creating the actual object. X equals three. Y equals three point four, and Z equals five J. Okay. So, so I can use the type command to see what type of uh, what type of numbers these objects are. So if I do print type x now i run it in the main i'm gonna get class int likewise if i wanted to find out the type of number of y all i'd have to do is write down um print type y okay and then i can run it in the main okay so we can see it's a floating point so now that that's covered let's just quickly cover the fact that there are different types of integers, floats, and um, complex numbers. So an integer can be like six, a normal number. An integer can also be like a really big number, but it's a whole number. As long as it's as long as there is no decimal point or letter, imagine which is an imaginary number, it's an integer. And integers can also be minus. So it could be like that. With floating points, floating point is anything of the decimal. So if I do 6.0, that's a floating point. If I do 132.45 that's a floating point and i can also you can also get minus floating points so a bit like this with floating points there's just another small thing which is a little bit more complicated that you just should know floating points can also be in exponential form so what if i said 6e to the power 3 what i'm basically saying here is that's 6 times 10 to the power 3 so that is 6 times 10 to the power 3 which is equivalent to 6000 so just to note this is also a floating number it's actually called a scientific number so for example um another way of writing it you could write down one two three e five that's 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 also an x that's also a scientific number and you can also do it in the reverse form so you can do so suppose i wanted to do two minus one minus 235.69 to the times 10 to the minus five so i would do e5 hopefully um if i'm not wrong that's correct but point is these are also these are all floating numbers now that that's covered complex numbers are a little bit different complex numbers you can write them down as um let's say five plus five plus zero j that's one way or five plus four j because um this four j represents an imaginary number it's uh it's related to a, a bit more uh, a slightly more advanced maths topic which is complex numbers but let's just state it here the earlier we state it the better you can also write it down as like 54 j you can also write down um minus complex numbers okay so that's that so we've covered that now let's cover the another topic and this is converting different types of numbers so suppose we have these values 
Okay, so d so x is an integer, y is a floating point, and z is a complex number. Okay, so for us to convert x, which is an integer, into a floating point, it's super duper simple. Let's create a new object. Let's say a a equals float, and then x. Okay, so now what we've basically done is converted an integer to into a floating point. So it's going to have a decimal. So if we print a, which is our new um, number, and we run in the main, we can see it's 2.0. There's a point 0.0 as opposed to a 2, meaning the new A object is a floating point number. Likewise, we can do the opposite. We can make a floating point into an integer. So to make a floating point into an integer, we type int. And then let's do it for y. So y is a floating point. y is a floating point. So now if we print a, we're going to see that y is now a whole number. It's three. It's reduced to the lowest, closest whole number, which is three in this case. So now y is a whole number. We, regarding complex numbers, we can't convert complex numbers into another number type. However, we can convert an integer, an int, into a complex. So for example, two is an integer. You can convert 2 into a complex number so to make it 2j complex x. Okay, so now let's see what we get. We're going to get 2 plus 0j, which is a complex number. 0j is the imaginary number. Anyways, so that's that. To end our lesson, we are going to be going through the final part of the number section, and that's getting random numbers. To get any random number, it's a very, very simple function. Firstly, you have to type in import random so now we can use the random function okay now we've done that we can write down our uh, object which is going to be associated with any random number so let's write down number equals random dot rand int or rand range rand int is another option you can use but in this brackets we are going to write down the range of our random numbers so suppose i want to do two to 50 this means it's going to give me any random number the function number will be any number within the range 2 to 50 okay so if i print if i print number and then run it in the means so now like it's printed a uh, random number 33 i could say but it's a really big number let me run it again okay 8168. Okay guys, so that's it for today's lesson. Please stay tuned and subscribe for more lessons uh, and I hope hopefully you're able to watch the whole series um, and benefit from this series. Thanks, bye.